Okay, I'm in Orem at 1640 North Geneva Road, and I've been driving by this building many times, and I thought that it had burnt down, but I talked to the the owner, and he says, no, that thing's never bu burnt down. It's just uh, been deteriorated, but he gave me permission to go ahead and just kind of do a walk around. And so I want to just uh, document this building. And this has got to be one of the oldest buildings in town, in Orem, for sure. This has got to be probably, this may be one of the oldest, if not the oldest building in the in the city of Orem, Utah. And uh, so, and there's actually another house next to it that the story on it, they say, well, this other house over here, I'll tell you about later. And I'm gonna try and do it in the same video. So this looks like this may or may not be part of the original building right here, this, this add-on. And it looks like they stuck wood up against here and they've just stored firewood right up against the building in here. Or at least they cut a tree down and, and stored it in here. Here's the construction there. Here's the back side. This is why I thought it had burned down. It just kind of looks like it had burned down, but he says, no, that's just uh, falling down, falling apart. And this is the reason what I, what I would see off the side of the road here is I'd see this window sticking out of the, the ground right here. And it has uh, a total, <laughs> just kind of looks like a mud flood window. I mean, Like the water would just go right down into the basement on this. They said that it's just kind of full of storage, I guess, at this point. But you can see this, you know, really pretty work on the window arches. Mud flood window down below. And uh, looks like there may be another something going on over here with the, the foundation. You see that? So let me get out of here. Continue on around here. Lots of bushes here. Sorry, I'm kind of tripping around. <laughs> so. So. This is, I haven't even looked at it. This is my first time looking at this as well. But here's the basement in this. And you can see that when you look at this, you got brick actually coming all the way down to the ground. And that concrete that we're looking at has been poured around the brick on the outside of the brick. And there's some more evidence of that and brick right here. So this is the original building and then they've poured concrete all the way around it. And how far does the brick go? And just talking theory here, but if there was a mud flood that had come into this building, I mean, look at this. Would you build this this way? Where the water just rushes right down into the basement. Now this could be a new door, that's, a, that, that's true. However, there's the ground level up there. Here's the windows down here. This is the window that we were looking at right back here. And it goes all the way down there. And they, just so you know, the, the ground level is where you can't see light, right? Basically where that board going horizontal is. So some more brick here, coming up. And uh, 
really glad that they let me come in here. These, these, these steps are brick, by the way. So they're brick. And you know, like, w w what's the possibility of these bricks? I mean, went deeper and deeper and there was mud down in here when they found this. I don't, all right, let's just keep <laughs> checking this out. Kind of eerie in here. So there's the front door right there. And this is weird, this is really weird. So you come in the front door and this is the level and we'll go back to the front door at the end of the video. And that looks like it's about three and a half feet taller than the area where I'm on. So you come in and you walk I don't know, I don't know how you get down from the front door down to this level that I'm on right here. I don't see the stairs. And it looks like there was another door and this is inside that additional room that we went there and where we start, you know, at the beginning of the video, you can see this door right here. Um, So there's two levels. There's this level where this door is up here. There's another level where this door is right here that's three and a half feet lower. And then there's another, wow, what the hell is that? Another, <laughs> another level held up by brick, brick holding the, the ground up again with stone tops of the stairs, bricks holding the stairs. coming down into this level. A window that would let water in from the, from the ground level. Another window over here that let water in from the ground level. I'm not seeing that there was ever any windows in this brick here. All right. So, so that, that really kind of sh shows proof that there is brick behind this concrete, brick behind that concrete. So the concrete's newer than the brick. And, uh, I don't know if I got a picture or a good view of this window up here. That would be the upper level, I guess. Let's go back in there and see where that where that goes to. I think that might go. Well, that goes above here. So let's go back in in here one more time and see where that where that window. How do we get to that window? Okay, cool. So, I really can't see where I'm walking here, but I really want to see this room right here. So there's a, another room above the basement right here that this door goes to with these broken stairs that I'm standing on, goes up to this, and it looks like there's a fireplace inside there. Whew. Spider webs. This is awesome. Okay, so there's a room I can't get to in there. And and there's the window from that that room I can't get to on the west side of the house on the north side of the house this is a little bit strange to me right so you got these stairs this is the concrete the back of the concrete that we were seeing all right and it appears that they've turned a window because it looks just like there right 
This was a window. This was a window. Identical two windows. Do they look identical? Yeah, they look identical. Identical height. And they cut this brick down to put this door in here. And they put stairs here to hide this window right here. I mean, at least that's where, where we're at right now. There's the stairs right there. They've... Okay. And another window with a board over it that we didn't see from the inside. And there's no known, at least we don't know if there was an abasement underneath this area, but it is interesting. So here's that door where you walk into there and then there's about a four foot, three and a half foot by uh, area there that you can walk all along the front of this house. No stairs to get down to the next area. And then you have this right here. <laughs> this is weird. You got dirt coming out from brick underneath that three foot little area that you walk on. No stairs here. To me, this has a lot of reason to believe that this is a mud flood building. I mean, there's the mud right there coming out of the, the ground right there. Now, I wasn't planning on this video being so long. Okay, so I wanna show you the other house. Now, the storyline on this house over here Kind of like the haunted house on the hill. <laughs> okay, so what the story line on this house is, is that there is red brick underneath this paneling. But they said that this house, the people living in it, said that the storyline within the family is that this house is five years um, uh, newer than this house and it was ordered from Sears. This house was ordered from Sears is the storyline. So let's, they gave me permission to go ahead and just walk around the foundation of it. They did say they let me in, but they wanted to clean up a little bit and I totally understand that. So there's red brick right on top of this stone foundation is, is what's believed. And, but is this stone possibly a facade? Now look at the way that the aluminum around the windows is tied in to the windows, right? That's because this is very thin um, paneling and it's right up against the brick. And, you know, you can actually see the brick inside there. Big old windows. I mean, this is a big house. I'll uh, post in the description the age of it. I'll knock and ask what the age of these two buildings is because I didn't get that. So underneath this window right here, okay, I'm not really seeing anything. I thought I thought I saw a vent. There's a your regular 1800s door with the window above it. And here's a vent that's been put in right here. Here is to look at this real quick here. This is interesting. There's a hole in the ground back right here up against the house. And look at that right there. It goes into it goes un underneath into the house. So 
Let's just take a look at this right away. Just wanna see underneath there. And that goes down into the basement there. And I just wanna see if I can if there's any brick under there. I mean, that just goes right into a hole right underneath the house. This is all put here to, to keep somebody from falling in the hole. So I'm gonna replace it all. But wow, right? Sorry guys, but I wanna leave this as good as I found it here. So there's a either a stairs that used to go down there or a mud flood window and here's a vent going into the basement right here with a big beautiful window above it that's as big as a door stone foundation Get back here another big beautiful window Another window here that's been maybe made, but it's been filled in with glass block. And a, another vent right here, one into the basement. And then here's a cellar door that's kind of like on the other side of the house. And we're back to where we started here. I'm gonna just see if this opens up. And there's the basement right there and here's the cellar door. I just noticed there's a the wood down here underneath the, you know, the hole in it. So I'll let you know in the description or in the title how old the house is. Thanks for watching.